Hi everyone, thank you for joining me on Shaman Talk. Lashi Tatsa Genanke Yai. Um, today I will be talking about Nzongnang, Nzongnang Yorachi. So today I'm going to be talking about Nzongnang. What is it? So basically, Nzongnang is a term that shamans use to denote dark energies. These are dark energies that come and become attached to you when you have your guides bridge to you. These are a type of energy, it is called zongnang. But essentially, it is not nang. They are not spiritual guides. So this is a term that can be confusing for some. When we use the term zong nang, it makes us think that nang na. But zong nang is actually not spiritual guides. Spiritual guides are a term that we use to denote uh goodness, positivity, a type of guide that is there to help you, to guide you, to open doors to healing, to spirituality, to enlightenment. Zongnang, though the term denotes it's a type of nang, it is not. This term is used because it comes hand in hand when you have your guides bridge to you. And so it can be a little bit confusing and it can become a misconception about what spiritual guides are. When people hear the term zongnang, um, they can take it as to mean that spiritual guides are not pure and that they have darkness in them and that's not true. Spiritual guides are spiritual guides. Zongnang are zongnang. Zongnang is a term as I said is that is used because they come with yanang. So the term zong just means I take it to mean more like the sight of it being dark of it being unpure. So, Zonang are demons, demonic, dark entities, and they attach to your guides and they infiltrate your spiritual guides. So, then they become mixed with your spiritual guides, and it can become confusing because they are just a part of the pack now. But Zongnang are not spiritual guides. They will prevent you from rising as a shaman. They will interfere with your ability to become a shaman. They will interfere with your ability to be able to give accurate readings. They will interfere with your ability to heal and to come to terms with who you are as a shaman. These demonic entities travel through the realms. And as you travel from wherever your Sifu has bridged your guides from, whatever dimension, whatever realms that your spiritual guides are from, your Sifu needs to filter them as soon as they are given to your Sifu. So if your Sifu receives your spiritual guides from the place they have been protected and the place they have been staying at, but your Sifu does not filter them, then these entities that take opportunity to latch onto your spiritual guides will do so. 
they will attach on and they are just a dark energy dark entities and they can latch on along the way along the travels back and forth from where your sifu is traveling to and from so your guides as a whole need to be filtered by filtering them then these dark entities that have hidden themselves within your spiritual guides they will be filtered out it is important that your sifu does a good job of filtering your spiritual guides if this is not done then you might have issues on your journey to become a shaman where do these dark entities come from there really is no specific place as to where they come from they can exist between the realms they can exist closer closer to home they can exist in the spiritual realm in any realms and they can also be where they are in your surrounding so in zonang basically are dark entities that will interfere with your growth as a shaman and any shaman will have zonang so that's why it is important for every student every kuti for their guides to be filtered every sifu should filter every student their guides if yours are not filtered then it doesn't mean you will not become a shaman at all but it it will interfere with your readings your healing abilities it will give you a lot of false readings why is it there why is there such a thing as zonang so as i've explained before there's just a lot of dark energy out in the universe and when there is an opportunity to latch on then they will do that just like when you go to prison if there is an opportunity to escape the prisoners will try to escape so if there is no opportunity then they stay where they are if an opportunity opens up then why not they will grab at that opportunity and run so that's basically what's happening with zonang uh, that's how they attach onto your guides so why don't your guides just fight them why don't the spiritual guides just fight them and war them off so it's actually hard for the spiritual guides to be able to fight them it's actually hard for the spiritual guides to be able to pick them out and to distinguish them because you have to understand that your spiritual guides themselves are just being awakened they've been in a place where they've been kept you know protected and kept um low-key and just kind of repressed so now they are barely waking up they are barely being bridge to you they don't have the capacity to ward off these dark entities they need you to do that so even though they can do that with your help but without your help without a sifu's help without someone else's help on a physical side then your spiritual your spiritual guys are pretty much helpless so they will not be able to fight off the dark entities who has latch onto them because now they see them as a part of their kind too just like if there's an imposter who poses as somebody like if you went to an event 
and there's just a bunch of people there, you can't really tell who's good and who's bad. So your spiritual, your spiritual guides, they can't do that without help. So let's say you went to an event and people have to do searches to search individually, like maybe security guards. They have to have some devices to search people that enter the event, the party. And by doing that, they can see if um, there are people that maybe have weapons, have things they're not supposed to have. So basically, spiritual guides, they need that from us. They need us to have the physical um, barrier, the physical device that, um, you know, scans them and see who's genuine and who's not. And we need to cast those away so that our spiritual guides can pass through safely. If there is nobody to do that, well, they all look the same. So then they just all pass through. And that's when your spiritual guides will become compromised. So, Zonung, why are they there? They're basically there because they it's an opportunity for them to come down to earth to come down into this realm, to be able to interact with humanity, to be able to interact with you, who is the human. And from there, of course, you know, they have other intentions, but basically they are opportunists who takes that opportunity to um, descend onto earth so that they can cause issues, they can, uh, you know, suck up your energy, they can um, use you for their purposes. So if you are a new shaman, it is really important to know about demonic dark entities that latches onto your spiritual guides or zonang. If you are not aware of them and um, you don't know the signs of when they exist, then you can bump into issues because things will happen and you will also be prevented from being able to make good readings, accurate readings, reliable readings, reliable healings. Um, and you won't understand why. You won't understand why your readings are not reliable. Why are you not able to do this? Why are you not able to do that? That's because the ones telling you that information might be those dark entities telling you. But because you are getting that reading from them and that information, you just assume it's your spiritual guides and you just assume it's accurate and reliable. And then when you get into a situation where, you know, you start reading people and you start realizing that your readings are not accurate or you're not able to heal people, then you'll start to question what's going on. And so it's important to get rid of these demonic dark entities. Their only purpose is to cause issues. So you will not be able to get rid of it on your own. Most times, most often, you will need a more experienced shaman who should be your sifu, who will get rid of them for you. That should all be a part of the process of your sifu bridging your guides to you. So that should already be done. If your sifu does a good job filtering your guides, then usually it should get rid of these um, entities. If you still find that you are having issues 
Sometimes your seafood might not be able to get rid of them just by filtering them out. So your seafood has to catch them. Yochu one day na yochin day te gomwa lo chechi light na. So your seafood might have to come and help you by actually catching them and removing them and putting them into exile and condemning them. If this doesn't happen, you might act unstable. You might not be able to fully understand what your guides are telling you. You might just hit a brick wall and not be able to make progress in your journey, in your shamanic journey. So it's really important to get rid of these zongneng. If they stay with you, eventually you will realize how unreliable you are with your readings. You'll realize that you might hear things, you might see things that are not, you know, suitable are not reliable, you might hear negative things, it will affect your health too, you might have physical health issues like just pain in different places, um, it could be, there could be a number of different things that can happen. So if you still have with you, then it will really affect, you know, your shamanic journey and so it's really important to get rid of them. And so I just wanted to talk a little bit about that today because there's a little bit of a misconception about what they are. Some people are thinking that zongneng are your guides and some people are not understanding why they exist or why are they a part of your spiritual guides. So they really are not a part of your spiritual guides. When your Sifu goes and gets them from whatever realms, you really do only get the pure guides, the gen what's genuine, what's truly your spiritual guides. But there's always, as I said, ways for um, dark entities to mix themselves into the pack. And so it's really important for you to understand that even if you feel like you don't have any dark entities with you, you don't feel like there's any zonangna, it's important to still remove them by um, using the process, by filtering them, by um, taking means uh, taking measures to remove all that is not pure from what you have, from what spiritual guides you have. That way, then everything will work out smoothly for you. No, no, go your lot, that's all I dear. No, no, you're that she dear. No, no, go your more hot topic, no, lot. ก็ยอฮอจีเปาลอเทลิตอกเตาจองดัวยอฮอเปาเลยลอฮอลอนดอเคียนจีเทียฟังจองเป้นอลอลูไฮเตียนจองนังนอติชีเป้จีปอกจ
เนื้อมวนเตาหอดาแห่งเนื้อมวนเตาหอดาแห่งเนื้อมวนเตาหอดาแห่งเนื้อมวนเตาหอดาแห่งเนื้อมวนเตาหอดาแห่งเนื้อ
ne pa ha te mo cha ke yo to to ka to ke to le ya chang ke ne ho chu chu ne yo to ke ne yo chang lo to li li no ne chang chang han ha te tu si fu yo chu mo yo ta nai ta kwa li ka chi li ka chua li ra jong e to lo to ka lu ta ka te sho nang chang Tu tua tu ti nang sha nang chia ge yang mo zong nang do yo si fu chi mo li yang yo wa to ko 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 shai yai lo shai chi chi shai yai lo shai chi lang ko wan nang lo ko yo chi cho pa ka wa ko wan nang lo ko yo ko chi jong cho lang chi jong cho tu nai mo nai tu yo zong nang no nè cú lò đa chú đa chì nè cú lò ua chó chúa có ua nắng sái có sái dài chè nữ dò ý chó lò đa có lò đa có chè con chăng hài tìa dò có chó thơ nắng thật khóa khí chú khí chì tò có nò chè có xá hài tìa lò khía chú khía chì cơ lò khía có mà có báu ú báu nò tìa xì có sái nè chì chó đau thế rồi con chăng hay tiệt đau, tiệt si mà đầy mù đầy tua, có mà bỏ hay tiệt, lớn đa co sứ, có sái chỉ đau, có khó chỉ tàu, chè có mà bỏ hay tiệt, cha rong lên nọ, cha mua khó ê, cú bỏ sái tiệt, tiệt si cha cú sái chỉ đau lì, cú bỏ sái cú bỏ khó, tiệt si mà cú sái cú mất tăng đau cú khó ta lò cha rong li nó chỉ đau nữa, chỉ do vì li cha. Tới giờ chọn rong nắng nó chẳng nhón đâu, có chọn thơ nắng thật khó. Phần đầu chỉ có chủ thọ tu sĩ phu, muốn li muốn cho mù. Do hai tia tuấn rong nắng nữa, nó chẳng lòn đa tỏ co, ai muốn cho sư, lo cho chỉ đau. Chỉ có chỉ chủ thọ có tu sĩ phu, tôi muốn nên đầy mù. mỗi lần đầy mù, mỗi lần qua mù sự theo lịch tàu, do hai tia chỉ qua lý nọ, chỉ có giờ mua hạt tăng mừng được, đó có, nếu có cho có, có có sợ chỉ tàu nắng thiếu, khó nọ khó kệ bá có nọ nè, nếu có cho kệ bá để tu sĩ phu, chỉ chỉ nhau hai tia có bá có, vẫn đầy rong nắng lý nọ. chị sĩ phú chẳng yuan yuan nhận gì thế, khó nọ nó chỉ yo, nó yo cho cái ba để co có cái sở năng có chăng, chị tu sĩ phú tu khai nè, nó yu mua cho cái ba lên nọ cho co rồi nè, chị thầu co gì tu trong năng rồi, chị có mà bỏ hay gì à, có má mà ua, chị có má mà à chăng mù chè mà nữ bi thêm mua khó bỏ hay gì à có ua yếu lăn có ua yếu chăng chè có thiết sở tàu nắng tiệm mò yếu hay gì à có họ chỉ bảo có họ chỉ bỏ có họ chỉ nhọt cho hay gì à chả mua nhà chả mua rau nắng lo thay có cá lo thay có kệ chè có ô ua mù chỉ có phân bỏ hay để có ua có sái chỉ cho đau chỉ có chỉ muốn thay cái ba chỉ có chỉ nắng là nửa sáu chỉ chăng thế có ba chỉ tàu trong lăng thế elina cô cho lọ kia mình chỉ cho nè yo hay để nè họ sợ nắng yo nhua nè họ sợ nắng trong này yo chăng trong này yo chỉ chăng nè họ sái phân chỉ cho lăng lo tới giờ nếu họ mua tuần trong nắng chẳng nhỏ cho nè cho thợ nắng thật khóa ai nếu thế nếu thế giờ lên đời nếu có chủ sai nếu có chủ thọ còn nếu tu sĩ phu họ mua trắng sẽ do đi trả tiền do mua trong nắng lo do chủ muốn đầy mù do chủ muốn lì muốn chầu mù có cháu lo chùa nếu cho thợ nắng thật khóa chỉ nên thiết sở nắng chăng mò, ai cũng lo thà lấy nó mình chỉ sử, đỡ nó cũng nhau có nắng sẵn vương, ai quá trâu, có tất cả lo cổng cụ 
পাওয়া থাক নাই পে মাসি জি দোয়া লজাও না